Good day everyone. This is the Sunday School Hour of Poor Linnean Baptist Church. And today we'll deal on lesson number 13, Victory Over a Wounded Spirit. Our key verses are found on Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 16. And here's the verse. Verse 1, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Verse number 2, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest he be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not res yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. To continue, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If he endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if he be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous but grievous nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby wherefore lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet lest that which is lame be turned out of the way but let it rather be healed Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Here are our lesson objectives. Victory over a wounded spirit. At the conclusion of the lesson, you should be able to, number one, name the similarities between the Christian life and a race. Number two, understand the process by which Jesus Christ endured suffering. Number three, Describe the purposes and lessons of chastening. And number four, identify the characteristics of Jesus Christ that, would, that we should emulate. For our lesson outline, item number one, look to the Savior. Letter A, He is the originating one. Letter B, He is the enduring one. Letter C, He is the resurrected one. Item number two, not only look to the Savior, but also listen to the Savior. Letter A, learn to His chastening. Letter B, learn from His chastening. Item number three, which we'll be taking for next Sunday, learn of the Savior. Letter A, follow His peace. Letter B, follow His holiness. And letter C, forsake all bitterness. As part of introduction, 
Many believers today bear the marks of wounded spirits and injuries that they have suffered at some point in their lives. The good news is that even if we have faltered or fallen and been injured, we can still recover and run a good race. Sometimes when defeat and discouragement come, it can wound our spirits. Yet even if that has happened to us, we can overcome. The Bible tells us how we can triumph over a wounded spirit. Injuries are certain in a sinful world, but you do not have to allow hurts of the past to keep us from reaching God's best for our lives. Every four years, the Olympic Games are held. From around the world, athletes come together to attempt to win the gold medal. We see the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Olympics are popular that shows people reacting to difficulty and adversity as well as to triumph and glory. The writer of the book of Hebrews used a sports as analogy. The cloud of witnesses is like the spectators in a grand coliseum. Those who have gone before us, who are now watching to see our race, will turn out. Every believer is running the race of the Christian life. Daw sama sa atong kaugalingon diri sa Cebu na atay gitawag nga Cebu Coliseum. So, didto mo gather ang tawo kung dunay mga events like boxing, basketball or whatever events so that makatanaw. Ato sad ma picture atong kaugalingon atong kita buhi pa, dunay ta, dunay gitawag nato nga mga spectators, gatanaw nato. Daw sama naa sa usa ka grand nga coliseum kung kita Kristohanon, sila naguna nato nga matay na Unya ni una na sa langit, sila mo'y atong spectators. Nga every believer is running the race of the Christian life. Sila mo'y nag, uh, nag-motivate na to, nag-pray para sa ato, unya nag-inspire sa ato, nga kita gud, mudagan og sakto. Let us follow the Bible principles on how we can triumph over a wounded spirit. Item number one. This is very simple and basic, but sometimes very difficult to follow. Tungod sa pagkasimple niya, usay ma-ignore na to, usay ma-neglect na to. Look to the Savior. The best advice if we have been injured or wounded is to change our focus. Look to the Lord Jesus Christ. When the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, it means to turn away from all other things and focus on Him and Him alone. Runners in a race are taught to focus on the finish line rather than on the other runners. Looking at the other runners can lead you astray. Look unto Jesus only. Ako nakasuway magiguaning marathon. Tinood yun na. Usahay kung kita dili ta murabag ang atong tumong o tinguha nga mananaura ta sa uban o kung sa ilang gibuhat o asa sila dapit. Pero ang ato yun ang tang tinguha is to really reach the finish line. Ang atong uh, panglantaw nga maabot yun sa finish line. Daw sama sa uh, pagmarato na mo sa Baguio, gipa naugmig roughly about 7 kilometers down. Unya, pasaka yun, pataas. So daghan mga runners gikan sa katipunan pag atin na mo sa youth camp sa Baguio. Uh, as, a, as a start, pag, pagbuto yun sa pusil, nga dito sa starting point, Makita yun yung mga daghan yun, maning kamot, nga sila muna. Pero not looking beyond, nga taas pa kayo na ganun o nagpasaka yun. Mausad na nga kita, ki, dapat mudagan ta sa atong kristuhanon nga kinabuhi. Doon na tayo focus. Maunang itawag na nga look unto Jesus only. Kaya kasagaran sa among mga kauban nga naguna, after 100 meters, 200 meters, Wa na, gipang kapoy, nahuddan og hangin, igo na lang ng lingkod sa sidewalk, ang uban ng lakaw. Nga, maingo na lang, kamo na lang dito, mo represent sa grupo, kay di na makaya, kapoy kayo. Alimang kag 200 meters pa lang, ngundang na, nga, 7 kilometers pa to, pasaka. So, importante nga itong tumong itunguha, nga ang atong yung ma- ma- makabot dito yun sa finish line. Ang atong uh, 
suggestion or there is a recommendation sa item number one, look to the Savior. Dunay panahon sa atong kinabuhi nga ma-injured yun da, ma-wounded da. Dunay mga tao mapasakit sa ato. Kunya, masakit ang yun da. Pero ang ang atong usual nga nga, nga reaction, kana manggong maingon ta nga, uh, gusto kong manimalus, I will retaliate. Dili dahil na sakto. Ang atong buhaton is that isalig lang nato sa Gino because God knows everything and He knows how to, you know, He knows how to take care of people and He knows how to take vengeance on people. So, importante na nga mahibala na ito. Bahalag on sa'yo mahitabo sa atong paligid o sa atong, uh, sa atong simbahan, sa atong pamilya, sa atong trabaho. Bahalag idaog-daog ka, gitamay ka or whatever nga murag tanaw ni mo dili maayong nga sitwasyon. Pero isadig lang imong kaugalingon sa ginoo because God knows what is best for you. Maugin yung primero, hinaot mo ang nga ma-apply tani. Panahon nga kita masakitan, ma-injured, ma-hurt. At huwag yun hinunduman. Ang primero, ang pinaka-best nga advice, look to the Savior. Kinahalan at huwag yung i-focus dito sa ginoong Yesu Kristo. To continue, after Jesus fed the 5,000, He sent the disciples back across the Sea of Galilee, and He stayed behind to pray. Late at night, as the disciples were tossed and battered by a great storm, Jesus came to them, walking on the water. The disciples were afraid when they saw Jesus. This account is found in John chapter 6, verse 19. Look to this. As long as Peter was focused on Jesus, kay kita na hibaluman ta sa story ani nga nakalakaw si Jesus uh, si Peter diha sa tubig kadtong giingnan siya ni Jesus Christ nga come paglakaw ni Jesus a uh, pagkalakaw ni Peter nga nakafocus siya kang Jesus the bible really says that Peter walked on water lisud kay na igwan i example og ikaw gusto kang mulakaw sa tubig uh, suway so ragod Kung tao to, lunod ka, tungod sa kabuga, tungod sa ana, gravity. Pero at that time, they saw Jesus and Peter being spokesman of the group. Ingon siya, Lord, is that you? So, bid me to come. And then Jesus just say, come. Oh, kani si Peter gusto mang yun isang mahimong kuan. Gana bang musuway good? Gana bang pakita nga leader-leader sa, sa grupo nila? So, what happened? As long as Peter was focused on Jesus... He stayed on top of the water. It was when he was distracted by the strong winds and big waves that he went under. Pagkanindot kayong example, kung kita da'y focus lang kita kang Jesus, magkapadahin kita pagsilbi niya, dili ta malunod. Kay, kani ba yung mga strong waves, big waves, mga distractions ni sa kinabuhi nga usay makapawa sa atong focus? Pero ang atong pagtanaw, paglantaw, pagfocus sa atong perspective sakto, looking to the Savior, kana magpabilian yun na pagsilbi niya. Kana nindot na nga example. No matter what pain has come into our lives, we need to look to the Savior as our available help, strength, and hope. Nindot yun ding musalig ta sa ginoo through the Lord Jesus Christ. Kahibalog yun ta nga if we just put our whole trust and confidence in Him, He knows what to do with you. Kana lang, at o yun ang hinumduman, kay usahay kita mangita man tagpaagi nga kita makabalos, kita manakit sa da, murital yaita, pero dili dahil na siya sakto. At o lang yun ihatang sa gino, kay God knows how to make things in order, and the Lord says, vengeance is, is His, not ours. Letter A, under this, He is the originating one. Jesus Christ is the originating one. The Bible says that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. He is both the beginning and the end of everything. He provides the basis of our faith. Jesus is the eternal God. People have challenged the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here in this verse, Micah chapter 5 verse 2. By the way, hinumduman sa nato, kung sa version atong gigamit sa Bible, nindot yun yung atong gamiton, kaning gitawag nato nga King James Version, kay na-preserve ang originality, kaning uban nga mga version, na himo na noong perversion. So, ang example ani, morning Micah chapter 5 verse 2. 
tanawa. Nagingon ang New International Version, NIV. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose tanawa, origins are from of old, from ancient times. So tanawa ha? I-compare na to sa King James Version. Naging ng King James Version sa Micah chapter 5 verse 2, But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth. So, di lang ningon nga origin, ang kapadulganan, to continue, have been from of old, from everlasting. Kalay oras sa diprinsya ng ancient times o everlasting. The NIV says Jesus is a created God. So, importante kung unsa atong gamiton nga version. Sometimes ato ra ba ning ignore nga dali ra masabtan o unsa ba pero tan-awon nato unsa gay real meaning and real purpose and real truth nga declare sa Bible because Jesus is not a created God. Jesus is God himself. Even ang amahan ningon siya unto thy throne O God. Ang Father God gani ni tawag sa yung anak nga I'm unto thy throne O God in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8. Na ay no mga tao nga dili mo tuo nga si Jesus Christ is God. Mo na they have challenge and they have question the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be aware and question unsa ni atong gigamit nga version sa Bible. Hinaot pa ta nga kanig yung King James version ang atong gamiton. He is the originating one. Jesus did not become God. He has always been God. From everlasting, His existence did not begin at Bethlehem. He is the eternally coexistent Son of God. He was also completely human as well as completely divine. Mauning gitawag na nga si Jesus Christ 100% divine, 100% human also. And here's some declaration on how we can say that Jesus Christ is also a human being because he took on the form of humanity even though he is God himself, but he took on the form of humanity. What are these? Jesus wept, nihilak siya, at the grave of Lazarus. John 11.35, nindut ni memorize nga verse kay duhara ka words. Jesus wept. He understands the pain of being betrayed by a close friend. O kuyo, saya mga gitawag ng mga apostolis. Pero naagiha po yung close friend nga ni betray niya. He knows what it's like to be tired. Gika po sa siya. He knows what it is like to endure physical suffering. Kaya ng Osaka Espiritu, dili man gud ni siya mamatay. But ang required sa Osaka Savior, kinahanglan muula og dugo o niya mamatay. So he took on the form of humanity. So that he is 100% human, he is also 100% God. Kaya kung spirit ra siya, maadto sa sa uh, cross sa Kalbaryo, dili siya mamatay. But because he is also 100% human, that's why he is the only qualified Savior. Because he is sinless. He is perfect. No one else. We should remember that. Look to the Savior. He is the originating one. Jesus ran the race before us. And we can look to him as an example. We will never be disappointed by trusting Him. Nindot yun na. And we are commanded, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Dili ba yan ni Sayon kanin mo dagan ka og marathon? Because kanin gitawag na ito nga Kristuhanon nga kinabuhi. Dili man ni siya 100 meter dash. Marathon man ni. It's a long distance run. Ako nakadagan kong 15 kilometers. Oy, daghan sag sakit. Maabot sa imo along the way. Sakit imong tiil, imo abaga, imong kamot, lisod pa ginhawa, kaapoy kayo, sakit imong tiyan, sakit imong liog. Pero tungod ani ang mga challenges, ang imog yung tumungo tingo is mo abot ka sa finish line. So bisag nihinay ka, unya, mukusog na sad, nihinay ka, pero there's no stopping. Ang imo nga mapadayon lang yun ka. This is running with endurance. Sama sa na sa kinabuhi sa Kristohanon. Doon ay mga kapait, kasakit, maabot sa itong kinabuhi. Pero dili man na pasabot nga mo, give up ta. Padayon lang, dagang gihapon. 
so that maabot sa finish line, nindot kayo ang comments ato sa ginoo. May ingigun na siya nga, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Padayon lang, run with endurance. He is the originating one. Jesus Christ is our example. Not only that He is our originating one, let her be, He is the enduring one. The Bible says that Jesus endured the cross. Because He was God, He knew that He knew what was the outcome of His race. He saw the joy of our redemption through the sadness, through pain, through suffering and humiliation of the cross. Kaniba yang tao ang mamatay sa cross, mo ni pinakapait, mo ni pinaka-humiliating way of death nga ikaw patyon ka da by hanging on the cross. Hinay-hinay, pero mahutdan ka dugo, mahutdan ka kakusog, tanan, later on mamatay ka. And this, this is so painful, so sad, so humiliating. Every trial and difficulty that he endured was done with an eye of the joy that was to come. Even on the cross, as he bore the weight and penalty of our sins and the agony of separation from God the Father, Jesus had joy. Sakto ang iyang panglantaw, sakto iyang perspective. This is a powerful testimony of the greatness of His love for us. As a man, He experienced incredible pain. He could have freed Himself from the cross with a single word, yet Jesus remained there. Why? Because of His joy of the knowledge that He was purchasing our salvation. Gabi ang paghigugma sa ginoo sa ato. That's why in John 3.16, He declared, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in should not perish but have everlasting life. Gipurchase ni Jesus Christ ang atong kaluwasan. Mauni ang gipanglantaw nga bisag ng sakripisyo sa sakros, kahibalo siya nga ang resulta ani, nindot kayo, daghan mutuo, daghan maluwas, daghan makuyog niya sa langit. So importante, He is the enduring one. Bahalag lisod, bahalag pait, bahalag sakit, bahalag mamatay. But He knows that He will be resurrected. He is the enduring one. He knew that we are going to accept the free gift of salvation. Jesus had had us on his mind while he hung on the cross. Kung bitaw, pangutanon siguro ni mo, makatubag si Jesus Christ personally, kung dito ka sa cross sa Calvario, makaingon siguro ka, Lord, how big or how wide or how deep is your love for me? Siguro sa tubangan niya, ang iyang expression, iya lang gidupa ang iyang kamot, nga may yun sa, ing ani akong paghigugma ni mo. That is why he is willing to suffer, he is willing to die, so that He can purchase our salvation. Pagkanindot, thank you Lord Jesus. You are the enduring one. Let us see. He is the resurrected one. Jesus is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. He did not stay on the cross. That's why dili ta mag-wear aning mga crucifix lang o niya atong ibitay sa atong liog. Nga naman, what naman diya si Jesus Christ? Neither did he stay in the tomb. He was dead, but glory to God, he was risen and is alive forevermore. Mone gitawag na abay forever? Yes, because Jesus Christ is alive forever. He is eternal and he resurrected from the grave. Ugbuot ni mong hunaunaon, kinsay imong tuohan nga leader. Kanang leader nga namatay, pero tanaw ni mo ang iyang tomb. Tua, makita ni mo iyang bukog. Wala na ni resurrect. Ako yun hinumduman. Nga sa una, third year college pa ko. Kani si engineer uh, Maniha. Iyag yung gisunog ang iyang kaugalingon. Kanya, dito yun sa Plaza Independencia. Naa siya yung mga followers. Nibilive man sila nga siya yung ilang manuluwas, ilang savior. Sa ilang, uh, tungod sa iyang pagka-leader. Karon ingon siya nga sige sunuga ko ninyo pagka tulok adlaw ayaw ko gilabti kay mabanhaw ko manghigala dugay na kay itong panahona third year college pa ko unya uh, hantod na lang uh, you know na namenyo ta na tay anak na tay pamilya wa gyud ang iya mga followers mo tanaw dito sa grave sa tomb uh, na ara gyapon ang bukog why because it is a fact that it is only the Lord Jesus Christ who 
resurrected from the grave. The fact that Jesus sat down when he reached heaven is symbolic of the fact that his work is complete. His being seated at the right hand of his father symbolizes the acceptance of his sacrifice. Pagkanindot, even the God, the Father himself, was pleased with the sacrifice of his only son, only begotten son, Jesus Christ, and no one else. He is the resurrected one. Nothing else needs to be done for us to have our sins forgiven. Everything that is needed has been completed. On the cross, Jesus Christ cried out, It is finished. In John chapter 19, verse 30. What is finished? The plan of God for salvation is finished. It's plus nothing. It's minus nothing. It is 100% complete. That's why Jesus cried out, It is finished. Kita po, kita huma naman, hinaot po sa atong kinabuhi, di lisan tang maingon nga, ah, kaning gibuhat ni Jesus Christ, mutuo ko, pero kinahang lang yun, nga pinaagi yun sa akong buhat, nga mahibalan yun, nga maluwas yun ko. Kaya nga naman, usay yun, nga maghuna-huna man ta, nga, di li ratong, it was not enough, ang gibuhat ni Jesus Christ sa ato. Mga ningkamot yun ta, nga pinaagi sa atong kaugalingon, nga mga efforts, atong kaugalingon paningkamot, nga kini, makatabang, yawat na lang, nga, Sigurado ta or maluwas ta? No, because it is on the account of Jesus Christ. Man's way of reaching God is religion. Morning, about ning mga good works, mga sacraments or whatever forms. Pero God's way of reaching man is salvation, and salvation is a finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, plus nothing, minus nothing. By the way, di sa tama ngon nga. Jesus Christ plus Mary. Jesus Christ from other also plus other saints. No daily. Jesus Christ plus baptism. Jesus Christ plus good works. Daily said, it is only Jesus Christ alone. Claro kay niya John fourteen six. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Wag gilain gibutang da nga lain pamaagi. It is only the Lord Jesus Christ. To continue, the resurrection of Christ gives us a certain hope for the future. When we are knocked down or injured, we must realign our sight and look to Jesus. He knows the pain we are feeling. Men may disappoint us, but Jesus never fails. He died for our salvation. He rose again to guarantee our victory. Let us look unto Jesus. Mga higala, usahay simple bayan ni nga illustration, pero usahay malimta na to. Kaya nga itong makit ang tao manggod. Pero ang tubag da ay kung kita na hurt, kita na injured, kita na sakitan, look to the Savior. Hinaot pa ang ta, nga ito ginang hinumduman. Item number two, listen to the Savior. God wants to teach us through difficult times. He says things in difficult times we would never hear when things are going well. It is important to remember that not all the problems we experience are the are for the purpose of chastening us for doing wrong. Some trials are a result of living in a sinful world, but all of our trials can bring glory to God if they are properly handled. Very specific example. Doon ay sakit ni about sa imong lawas, sa imong kinabuhi. Pero out of that sickness, grabe imong pagyaw-yaw, grabe imong pagcomplain, grabe pa grabe imong pagsagit nga suko kay ka sa Ginoo. So you are not properly handling it well. Kana it does not bring glory to God. Pero in spite of the trial, in spite of the sickness, ikaw gihapon gapadayon pag praise sa Ginoo pagpasalamat o pagsalig sa iya, these trials can bring glory to God if they are properly handled. So, importante na, maminaw ta sa ginoo. Sometimes, trials, injuries, and troubles are a direct result of something we have done. The fact that God chastens us 
when we sin is evidence that we are His children. And that is Amen. Indeed, if we are not chastened, the Bible tells us we are not truly part of the family of God. This is found in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8. Kaya ikaw, mimbro ka sa pamilya sa ginoo, ang imong amahan, nga God the Father, maugoy, maningkamot, mangitag paagi, mabalik ka. That's why true trace chastening, usahin mo ang paagi ang kita mahimata, makabalik taon sa sakto diya sa ginoo. Teaching on the chastening of God is not the most popular thing to do today. But it is Bible doctrine and Bible truth. Now, may uban simbahan diya nga ang itudlo sa imo ka nalagyong makapalipay, makapahupay ni mo, huwag yung preaching against sin. Pero, if you follow the word of God, it's a Bible doctrine and a Bible truth that you have to preach against sin and the chastening of God. God loves us so much that when we disobey Him, He will chasten us. He wants us to be right with Him. He will do what is necessary to bring us back to Him. Yet some people, when they are chastened, become bitter and go even further away from God. That is not a correct response to suffering. Ang kapait sad and sad to note, maoni kasagaran response sa mga Kristohanon, especially gato mga batanon, mga bag-o pa nga naluwas. Pag mo agi sila kasakit, ang ani di ay ang Kristohanon nga kinabuhi. Wala, may pag mo sibat, may pag mo kagyo, di na magpakita. Mauna. And that is not a correct response. We ought to look to the Savior and we ought to listen to the Savior. Letter A. Listen to His chastening. Rather than reacting with rebellion, maubita nung gingon sa Bible nga, mo despise ta, kaning mo rebel ta. Or giving up, kaning mo faint, kaning mo marag kakuya po na ka, di na kaganahan mo pa dayon, morning, itawag na ito nga, faint. When we are chastened, we need to heed the admonition we are receiving. We need to recognize our need to hear His voice. Kay, usahay ba ya, kaning naarata sa kaharuhay, usahay di taka, di taka, pang, di taka feel ba sa need na to sa ginoo nga naman, na kay korta, may kag health, o niya okay ra'y mong kinabuhi, o sa'y di ka kadungog sa istorya sa ginoo. Pero maabot gani-ganing mga sakit, mga lisod nga sitwasyon, that, those are the times nga kita, walay tayong himuon, igor gitang muluhod, maminaw, mabasa sa Bible, muampo, nga naman, gusto tagtabang niya, gusto tag solusyon. Mone, we have to listen, especially during his chastening. Every parent knows that there are times when children need discipline. Someone said there are three ways to get something done. One, you can do it yourself. Tinood na. Ma-apply ko na ito sa atong mga ministries. O sa hay, dili kakasalig og tao nga ihatag ni mong responsibility nga buhato niya. If you really want to make sure nga mahita buo na, maunang primero nga pamaagi, do it yourself. Number two, you can ask someone else to do it. So, nindot sa ding, do na tayo kikasaligan. Nga, getagaan niyong assignment, it is considered done. Kana, responsible na nga tao. O nindot na, especially, kauban niyo sa ministry. Nga, makasalig ka, nga siya mabuhat sa iyang responsibilidad. Or number three, you can tell your child not to do it. So, mo sa niyong pamaagi dahil nga, ay nagbuhat ha, so it is accomplished. Sometimes, of course, children will rebel, will go against the um, command of their parents, ang resulta na niya, mga mona, problema, mga kaguliyang. Pero ug musunod lang ta, hapsay ang pamilya, hapsay ang kinabuhi. Listen to the Savior. And listen to His chastening. If we do not discipline our children when they do wrong, we do not love them like we should. It is found in Proverbs 13.24. God loves us too much to let us get by with sin. Oh, nindot kayo no, may gag, nagpakasala ako niya, why nahitabo sa ako? Okay rami sa ginoo. Uy, basig, nindot kang pangutana is, anak baka sa ginoo. Kay nag-ingon man, kung anak ka sa ginoo, imo siyang amahan, mangita, mangyud, ang pa, paagi ang ginoo, ng ikaw mabalik sa iya. Kana mangyantong amahan nga, kanang tauhanon, earthly father, mo disiplina mangyani sa ato, 
nga gusto niya nga dili ta mahimong sukwahi dili tang ingon nga mga kanang mga balasubas nga anak pagkadako gusto nila nga disiplinado nga na apply gyud sila discipline ang akong papa sa una ah, mabunal man to bakos sakit kayo pero it's one way of disciplining us so that when we grow up we can we can be you know good uh, citizens of society nindot na nga resulta that's why god loves us too much to let us get by with sin for the chastening to be effective in our lives we must endure it mo ning gitawag na to nga endurance if we give up and faint because of the difficulty we lose the benefit of the chastening so sometimes dili man na diretso mo bonal ang Ginoo ba god is a merciful god pinaagi sa pagpahimang no through the preaching of the word of god listening to the tv or the radio or maka basa kag mga articles nga bahin sa Ginoo and god wants you to go back to him pero do na poy panahon gyud nga ang usa ka kristohanan dili maminaw padayon gihapon so mao na from rebuke reproof mo mo abot ni kaning gitawag nato nga uh, chastening so mas mas sakit-sakit na ni so mao na if through chastening mo endure ta nindot na kay makat on ta and will be benefited from it pero naa say uban gihapon ni kristohanan bisag na na sila under na sa discipline under na sa chastening hala sige pagyapog padayon pagpakasala so ni, lisod na kay magkaanam ka grabe um mo naigi tawag nato ang mga levels ba of correction or discipline so di na to to paabuton nga moabot ang gitawag anang uh, graduation nga papauli unta di ta gusto sad anang gitawag nga next aning chasing kaning scourging kanang grabe na gid kasakit so kana og dili na matabang mao na naanay mo ni gitawag nato death graduation na gid pero samtang sa reproof pa rebuke hala minaw na ta listen to the savior to continue if we are wise we will love the lord more for chastening us we can expect his chastening to come when we do something that we know is wrong chastening is a sign of his love for us God only chastens his children. He loves us too much to let us live in sin. Giluwas mangayta sa sala nganong ialaw man ta nga magkinabuhi diha sa sala. Here. Um <clears throat> the word of God says that my son do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those He loves as a father the son he delights in in the book of proverbs so kinahanglan importante nga ato ni welcome ang chastening sa Ginoo kay we will learn from it and we will benefit from it if we will just endure because God has a purpose for this in our Christian life letter b learn from his chastening the purpose of God's chastening is to teach us something The Bible tells us that chastening yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Maka produce ni siya og katarong ka kamatarong just as a gardener prunes a fruit tree to make it more productive. God uses chastening as a means of removing from our lives things that keep us from reaching his purposes and plans. Usahay kaning makapahinder pagkabot nato sa ma purpose o plano sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi kaning atong mga bisyo no bisyo sa pag-inom bisyo sa pagsigarilyo bisyo sa pagpamabay ang uban bisyo sa pagpanglaki mo na daghan kayong bisyo bisyo sa pagsugal mahigala mao ning makapahinder nga kita dili kakabot unsay purpose o plano sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi and god uses chastenings as a means of kani pagtangtang ani mga bisyo sa atong kinabuhi chastening is not pleasant and it is only valuable if we allow it to teach us what god wants us to learn so importante ato ning welcome unya makat unta tinuod mo na nga moagi kag kalisod ka sakit pero og allow na sa imo sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi nimo that means 
if you have gone through it and passed through it, that means you should have learned from it. Do not go back to it. Kana gialaw ka para ug na sa uban nga maka-experience daw sama sa imong experience, makahatag ka og good advice nila and also a good testimony and a good example. And that is amen. Padayon ta. Listen to the Savior. Learn from His chastening. When we properly respond to chastening, our lives become more fruitful. Morning ganahan sa ginoong kita, mabungahon, makitaan ang bunga diya sa atong pagkakristuhanon. And that is God's purpose. Rather than allowing our spirits to be wounded by correction, we should seek to discern the lesson God is trying to teach us. Here in Revelation 3.19, the Word of God says, I correct and discipline everyone I love. Take this seriously and change the way you think and act. Mauni gitawag na itong repentance. Kahibulutan na nga sayop, di na nato na siya padayunon. Otherwise, kung mapadayon ta, diya sa atong pagpakasala, kahibulutan nga doon na discipline, doon na gyo'y correction, nga mahitabo. Kung kung anak ta sa ginoo, dili man mo alaw ang ginoo nga magpatuyang ta sa atong sala. God wants us to be back to Him. Ug importante na and let us take that seriously din nato dua dua na atong kristohanon nga kinabuhi hinumdumi kanang lastiko if we are testing the mercies of god ato nang inat inaton pwede pa sige inat pa gyud ah, pwede pa ni sige padayon pa gyud pwede pa pero sobra na ka inat mga higala dunay panahon nga mobitik na once mobitik na sakit na so, importante, we should learn from His chastening. Look to the Savior. Listen to the Savior. These are items 1 and 2, but very important ones. And atong item 3 will be for next Sunday. So, this is the lesson 13 summary. Victory over a wounded spirit. Item number 1, look to the Savior. He is the originating one. Wa nagay laay na itong tanawan kay si Jesus Christ mo yung atong example. <coughs> siya gay savior na to. Siya mo yung perfect nga atong sumbanan, atong standard. Dili ang uban tao. He is the originating one. Jesus Christ is 100% man. He is also 100% God. So, makafeel siya on siya atong gifeel. Pero kay ginuuman siya, mo na Nindot nga siya mo tong himuon nga standard. Look to the Savior. He is the originating one. Wa na ilain pa. Let her be, He is the enduring one. Nakahinumdom ta nga dito sa krus sa Kalbaryo. Lisod, pait. Pwede ba yan mo give up? Ah, pagka nindot ra kung ikaw ginuo. Just one word. May ingo ra ka nga. 10,000 angels, rescue me. Ah, wa na. Wa na. Humana. Pero wa na niya buhata. Kay he look beyond the obvious. Nakita niya nga, lisod pa it, pero that was the plan of God the Father for him. And he was willing to sacrifice himself. He was willing to endure. Why? He is the one nga mupalit sa atong kaluwasan. Imagine, og di give up siya. Wa tay kaluwasan. Pero pasalamat ha. He is the enduring one. Let us see, he is the resurrected one. Mausan yung pagkatinood nga leader. Kung ikaw, gasilbi kag lain nga pundok, lain nga grupo, lain nga leader, Hinumdumi na kung anang imong leader mamatay, daw sama sa uban tao, ilubong na siya ang iyang bukog, makita aragi hapon, ang iyang unod, dugta arana. Pero Jesus Christ, He is resurrected. He is, he cannot be, His body cannot be found because the tomb is empty. Why? The angel said, He is not here. He is resurrected. The only Savior perfect and qualified Savior nga ni-resurrect. Nindot sad, nga ni-resurrect siya, siya mo atong first fruit. Kita po, once mabot sa atong kamatayon, the period that you will be resurrected, He is the first the, the first fruit. Pasiuna, napakita nga resurrected Jesus Christ, then we can also be resurrected. So, look to the Savior. Kung panahon nga sakit, pait, lisod, naay mo, daog-daog ni mo, ayaw gritaliate, sige lang. Ampo salig sa gino, look to the Savior because He is the originating one, He is the enduring one, He is the resurrected one. You can hope and trust 
in the Lord Jesus Christ. Item number two, listen to the Savior. Letter A, listen or learn to His chastening. So, magpadag yun og chastening kung ikaw anak. Kaya kung dili ka i-chasten, bisag nagpakasala ka, dili ka anak, bastardo ka. Unsa man ang bastardo, illegitimate anak sa gawas, dili, lisod kayo na ay. Pero anak ka sa ginoo, naag yung chastening mo abot. So, importante, we should learn to His chastening and also learn from His chastening, letter B. So, ni paagi siya, ing ani nga kasakit, ing ani nga kalisod, kinahan lang kita makaton. So that when we learn, importante nga we have passed, or nakapasarta na nga test sa ato. Kung bahalag na agita sa kasakit, pero nakahibuluta nga, dili na ta mo balik, anak, kahibuluta on sa resulta. So importante, because of that experience, God allowed us, make, made us to be a stronger Christian. So that you can also be a blessing, a testimony, especially if others will go through the same experience. Listen to the Savior. Learn to His chastening. Learn from His chastening. Item number three, which will be for next Sunday. Learn of the Savior. Letter A, follow His peace. Letter B, follow His holiness. Letter C, forsake all bitterness. You know what, Ponta? Especially this last lesson. For our series of lesson on victory in Jesus, victory over a wounded spirit. Nga ato na yung maaplikar sa atong kinabuhi, sa atong simbahan. And to God be the glory, that ends the Sunday School lesson today. Thank you.